Hi guys and welcome to Zero Car Show. Today I have an amazing car for you guys. It is the Porsche 911 GT3. Or is it? Well, to be honest, it's not. But you gotta admit, it looks pretty close to the real thing. And with the minor modification it has, it is still a blast to drive. So without further ado, I'll just grab my keys, jump inside the car and start up the beast for you. Back in the 1950s, Ferdinand Porsche gave the Porsche 356 to the world. This car was to become the first model from a brand recognized today as one, if not the best, sports car manufacturer on the planet. The original 911, also known as the 901, was first revealed to the public in 1963 at the Frankfurt Auto Show. No one suspected back then that this little car would become one of the most popular sports car in automotive history. The 911 you're seeing today on your screen has come a long way, but it hasn't lost its roots. You can still see the lines from the 901 design in this 997's body. Its engine is still mounted far behind the driver's seat, and the noise produced by the flat six still makes every petrol head tremble with pleasure as it passes by. This custom 911 Carrera 2S, despite looking very similar to its more athletic brother, cannot claim to come near the GT3 when it comes to performance. But that's not the point. It will accelerate, brake, corner and do it all over again without ever losing a drop of performance. It is also fast, very fast. 355 horsepower might not seem like much by today's standards, but this car is something different. The Porsche 911 doesn't need to conform, it follows its own path. Every Porsche owner will tell you, you never forget your first one. The first time you step inside, you realize that this is it. You're not playing anymore, this is serious. When you turn the key, something inside you comes to life, along with the engine. After driving it for a while, you'll come to the inevitable conclusion. This truly is motoring perfection, or at least as close to it as a man-made machine can be. Of course, the 997 has its own little quirks, but that's why we love it. It is rough, somewhat rude, and doesn't care much for your physical well-being. Like an uncut diamond, it requires time, work and attention. Finally, at some point during your ownership, it will most certainly try to kill you. Don't say you've not been warned. But if you manage to make it out alive, that's when you'll know that, no matter what happens, nothing else will ever be able to fill that gap. In conclusion, I think that Porsche's engineers have really set themselves apart from the lot. They've been creating automotive masterpieces for decades, and yet they still manage to surprise us by building even better versions of what seemed to be the perfect sports car. A magnificent racer and a rather practical and manageable daily, the Porsche 911 was, is and hopefully will remain the ultimate driver's car. And driving this 997 Carrera 2S made me realize how badly I need a Porsche in my life. So that's it for today guys. We hope you enjoyed this review and I wish to thank my friend Oliver who kindly let me drive his car. And to be honest, even though this 911 is not a GT3, it was an amazing car to drive. It's a proper driver's car and I had a blast. And I'm curious what you think about the looks of the car and if at first glance it might have fooled you. Uh, it really looks like a GT3 except some minor details. So let me know in the comments in, at first glance it actually managed to fool you. Besides that, don't forget to like our video and subscribe for more. I'll see you next week with more amazing cars. Bye bye.